Now this guy that calls himself Brother Nathaniel, he's a pretty interesting character, you know. Um, first time, I remember I, I doubted his uh, authenticity was when I asked him, hey, how come uh, you, you came from the Jewish religion, you know, which, not is, which is not based on the Bible, and why did you join a, a, a church that is not based on the Bible? I mean, for instance, tell me, why, Jesus criticized the Pharisees for walking along, around in long robes, showing themselves teachers. Why would you join a Christian church that goes in direct conflict with that? Oh, even worse, you call yourself priests and walk along in long black robes, you know. I also ask, and why is it that you, you call yourselves father? That's what they call the the, uh, the the heads of the church father, you know, like the Catholics do. When Jesus says, call no man on earth your father, for one is your leader, one is your master, Christ, and all you are brothers. And for that, he banned me from his YouTube channel, you know. That told me right there that, hey, this guy sound, looks like he's an enemy of Jesus Christ. He doesn't want to follow Christ, but he bans Jesus Christ and then what he taught. That's banned on his channel. And yet people come up to me and they tell me on the internet, you know. No, never in real life, but on the internet. They say, oh, this is Charles Manson. Give me a break, you fools, you idiots, morons. Now, what happened in Russia during their Soviet Republic's days is that they murdered Christians, they banned the Bible, people could be taken to jail just for having a Bible in their house, they murdered the priests, you know, because they don't want religion at all, they want to worship, they want the state to be worshipped, right? Well, they found out it wasn't really working that well. So they infiltrated the church, the Russian church, and you had even KGB agents that were listening to confessions. They were priests, right? But they were really KGB Russian communist agents, orthodox priests. The first prime minister of Israel, he predicted, he, they, they, this is all a part of a Jewish plan. They knew that Russia they were going to make Russia into a democracy, and the United States would be more like, more like a, Russia, a welfare state. I will give you the quote right below of what the first Prime Minister of Israel predicted 25 years down the, uh, down the road. This was in 1962, January 16, 1962, in Look Magazine. And he predicted all of this. And he said, uh, uh, with the exception of, of Russia, the USSR, all the other countries are going to be united in a world alliance. And there will be no more wars. And Isaiah, the prescription Isaiah, where they will beat their swords into plowshares, will be fulfilled. This is under the Jewish Antichrist. It's not the kingdom of God. They killed Jesus Christ and they hate him to this day. So Brother Nathaniel... All he is, is riding the Russian beast. That's all, he, that's all he's doing. That's his part. And he's not Christian, you see. The Orthodox Church is not Christian. Those priests, they're not even priests, man. The, the, the Levitical priesthood was, was ordained by God. But these just made it up, man. Nobody's supposed to act as a priest that's a Christian. We're all brothers. Well, this stuff is obvious to anyone who's a real Christian, man. Or even trying to be or pretending to be this is all known you know so uh, this is where brother Nathaniel fits in though you see in this fake alternative to the new world order that's what Russia is supposed to be the, the Christian nation now you see even the United States isn't Christian anymore it's Russia they're the Christian nation you know with KJB priests and everything yeah so this is Brother Nathaniel's place. What this is his Jewish heritage. This is his job. You see, is to deceive people and to bring it, bring them into a Russian thing, the Russian form of Christianity. Give me a break. They were they were part of the Catholic Church for a thousand years, and then they broke off 
because they didn't want to travel that far to Rome or something, you know. So they set up their own priests. Uh, it's pretty weird if you people really believe that, you know. But they hate, you hate Jesus Christ, man, you know. So, anyway, shine a light on Brother Nathaniel, man. He's just a Zionist. That's all he is. He's working for Zion and for the New World Order, the, the, the Jewish New World Order. And he claims to be against those... Oh, I'm against those Jews. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's a joke, man. They're deceivers. That's all they do is deceive. And their whole deception is to be is political and want to keep you from knowing the truth in Jesus Christ because you are not to be part of this world nor take the mark of the beast. But they're going to tell you, oh, yeah, just follow them Russian Orthodox Church. They'll lead you to somewhere, you know. And... Uh, that's all the that's all the Jew, you think do you think there was a revolution in, in Russia to get rid of communism and get rid of the Jews over there that ruled the world that ruled Russia do you think the Jews just ran away because oh the, the Orthodox Church they want to be a church now so we better run don't you know that they have full control of Russia and brother Nathaniel <coughs> all he is is a Jewish harlot <coughs> that's riding the Russian beast that's all he is why, do you, why don't you think he ever quotes scripture? Why don't you ever think he reads the Bible? Everything he reads is scripted for him. He's reading off a script. He's not real. Wake up, man. These people trying to tell me this garbage. Oh, he's for real, but I'm Charles Manson, you see. You sick dogs. You get what you're coming, man. That Harley's going to pay double. But you can mislead people all you want because I know the true Christians, they're going to follow Jesus Christ. And we live forever, man. But you have your lot in this disgusting, sick, putrid, lying, murdering world. And that's where you pay. And that's where you'll stay. And that's where you'll be perished forever in your filth. In the name of Jesus Christ.